Thank you again. We're going to leave you with this one. Um, it's, uh, it's a song about a rare break that I took from the road uh, back in May. Um, I was, uh, as some of you probably already know, I've been living in a van, or a, I should say a series of minivans for the past uh, going on 10 years now. Thank you, sir. A fellow, fellow van lover. Awesome. Awesome. I salute you, comrade. Um, that's not, I'm not saying this to make you feel sorry for me. Like, I, you know, I actually got pretty good. I'm not, I'm not homeless like most folk singers. In fact, I'm a dual homeowner now. I've got another van down in Australia. Got a summer home and a summer home. A dream, folks. I'm going to take these guys down there to meet him. His name's Skippy. Yeah, you're going to meet him in like a week and a half or something. Two weeks' time. Anyway, uh, in May, I actually took a break from all of that, and I lived in a house in Vancouver with roommates and an address. And, and it was amazing. Like, it was so cool to be able to call people up and say, come on over to my place. You know? I even hosted a party while I was there. It was so cool. Like, I've hosted parties in my van before. It was a very limited capacity venue, you know? It usually ends up with somebody spilling their beer on my bed. And so I try not to let it happen too often. You know? But to be able to host a party in a house, man, sofas and stuff, and a kitchen. And that's where we get to the crux of this song, because that was my favorite thing about that whole thing, was having a kitchen. Being able to cook like on a stove top right here, like not on a Coleman stove on the ground somewhere. You got like a countertop you can avail yourself of to cut up your veggies and you know put them in the pan, and then you can sit down at a table when you're done cooking and eat your food. And then when you're done eating, you can wash your dishes in a, in a device known as a sink. It's got like hot and cold water just come out of it like that. It's amazing. Maybe this is commonplace to you. Guys. <laughs> to me, I was like, this is blowing my mind. The luxury is amazing. So this is a song I wrote about something that happened in my kitchen while I had a kitchen. And uh, if you're not careful, it just might happen to you too. Well, it might start out with Tuesday night mojitos. Squeezing out that mint and lime. Till someone drops the needle on that temptation's vinyl and his keychain dance party time. Or oh, you just might be cooking up some curry. Get some funky, funky Nina Simone. Before you know what you're whipping and popping, popping and locking. Kitchen dance party on. Well, we don't need no big sound system. We don't need no smoke and laser lights. We don't need to show ID or wait in line to go pee at the kitchen dance party tonight. So don't you be a kitchen dance party pooper. Come on, grab a good time before it's gone. Which is banana bread bacon, booty booty shaking, getting our kitchen dance party on. Sometimes it's been known to spill out in the yard And if the neighbors get uptight You gotta fight for your right to kitchen dance party oh, And even though my face hurts from smiling Won't you play another Stevie Wonder song Which is a bumping and a grind Yelling out rewind and kitchen dance party on oh. You should try it while you're beating eggs And you can mash potatoes with a blender While you taste the mashed potato with your legs Have you heard that new Boogie Patrol record? All oh, that band's so hot, man, they're flammable We'll go off to that stuff Come on, cue it on up For these kitchen dance party -ables. And we'll boogie like our backs ain't got no bone Someone get Chelsea Johnson on the phone Tell her we're open and open Shaking our song song There's a kitchen dance party on We just keep twisting and jiving Fist bumping and high five Kitchen dance party on Kung fu fighting and I'm rocking Chicken dancing and 